Hello and welcome back. I'm your friend, the neighborhood technician. Today we're going to get the head assembled. We're going to lightly clean up the seats on the valves and on the valve seats um, with some very, some fine um, lapping compound. And we're, we're not going to take any out. We're just going to clean it up a little bit because there's a few spots on some of the intake valves right here that you can tell that there might be a little bit of leakage through this uh, through the valve seat. Um, so. Uh, we're going to get that assembled. We're going to get the valve stem seals in. We're going to get the whole head assembled, except for the cams here, because um, I'll go over in another video uh, how to install the cams and how to set the timing in the cams. So let's get to it. So here is the very first valve. I kept them in order from front to back. And you can see kind of, let's see if you can get it right here on, it'll focus where it's clean right there. And then you got a little bit right here it looks like something, a little bit of something might have been getting by. So we're going to clean that up and we're going to make sure that everything seals properly. And then also on the exhaust side, you can see that side is pretty dirty right there. That valve seat, if it'll focus. Focus. There, now you can see it. Yeah, you can see that the valve seat right there is not the cleanest. And here's the head still clean from when it got cleaned at the cleaners. And you can see that the exhaust, actually the head cleaned up really well. Um, even the exhaust side cleaned up really well. So it's mainly for the, uh, for the cleaning of the valves, not the seats so much, but the valves that we're gonna be doing this for. This time I actually have one of these and last time, I remember the 119, I didn't, 119, I didn't have this because uh, I, so I was just using my finger. And we're going to use this fine metal grinding compound. So this is the intake side. This is the exhaust side. You can tell because here are the exhaust studs. So when you get this in there, you're going to want to make sure that the stem is nice and lubricated. Um, so it'll make turning it in there um, a lot easier. And you don't need very much grinding compound on there. Just a small amount. Even this is probably too much. <clears throat> okay. I didn't really like how that other lube worked. So I'm going to go back and use this assembly lube. So now that we have that stuck on there, you can kind of hear the tone change. Kind of see how it brightened up that seat there. No more dark areas. So let's do that 11 more times. And then 12 times for the exhaust. I don't know if you can see the difference, but you can see right here. You can see right here where there's the clean ring right here, cleaned area. And on this one that I haven't done yet, you can see it's not there. So this is actually what we're cleaning up right there, that little small ceiling surface. And now for the exhaust valves, which should have an even greater difference because these ones are all dark, super dirty. So you're gonna see that real clean line, nice and bright. Yep, there's that clean, bright, ceiling surface on the exhaust valve. And you can also, hopefully you can see that one right there. You can see there's a nice, thin, clean ceiling surface right there. This one, you can't really see it. Next, we are going to install the valve springs 
and the valve stem seals and the valves. First thing you gotta do is install the bottom valve spring seat. That's gonna go in there. I lube stuff up just because I don't like putting engines together dry. It's not necessary, but Next, we install the valve stem seal. That's the part number for the valve stem seal set, or kit. We got 48 of these bad boys. Well, 12 kits, but 48 seals total. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert the valve in there. Then we're gonna put on the little protective cap, a little protective cover over the valve so you don't scuff or damage the seal right here on, or that sealing lip right there on the valve stem seal. Remember to always lubricate. That's gonna go in there like that. And the assembly lube should hold it in place fairly well. And then we're gonna use, we're gonna put the little cap on there. And then we're gonna use this drift part number 104589014300. I started on there like that. Then I pull that cap off. valve stem seals on it's kind of hard to see in there but there's the valve stem seal you can see it right there there's that bottom valve seat and you can see how it's sitting nice and flush with the cylinder head next we're going to set our valve spring in there just like that We're gonna lubricate the top keeper, or the top spring seat, whatever you wanna call it. Oops. Just like that. Now we're gonna compress it and put the two retainers in. I know it's kind of hard to see, but now we're gonna put in the two top retainers, keepers, whatever you wanna call them. And you can see that they're angled, just like that. The narrow end goes facing down. My favorite way of installing these is to get a little bit of grease or assembly lube on it and then stick it to a small screwdriver, like that and then feed it in. You can just fit it right on. 
And then do the second one. Then it should look like that when you're done. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the lifter in. Now I'm going to lubricate the lifter very well. Don't forget right here where the valve sits. And don't forget all around. I like using a lot. Then slide it in. Put some around here. Don't want to put it in dry. Just like that. Alrighty, here we are. All the valves and the lifters installed. And the one head. I still have that head to do. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Uh, next video, these heads are going to get installed. So, or next video on this engine. I don't know if there's going to be any videos in between. There might be. Who knows? Um, but make sure you give me that thumbs up, hit subscribe, and hit the notification icon so you get notifications when I post a new video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.